on air, online, and on what your smart speaker. Royal Copenhagen, open every day for breakfast, lunch, and dessert. Over 270 locally owned centres servicing Australia since 1979. Good afternoon, I'm James Royce. The opposition has warned the government that it will have a fight on its hands if it wants to broaden access to multi-employer bargaining. This was one of the ideas raised at last week's Jobs and Skills Summit as a potential way to increase wages. The Shadow Employment Minister, Michaelia Cash, has told Sky sounds like a union attempt to gain more power. The big winners coming out of the two-day talk fest with the union movement were the Australian union movement. And uh, without a doubt, the Labor Party under Anthony and Albanese are paying their paymasters in full. There's more trouble for Qantas with hundreds of the airline's contractors to strike next Monday week. Those ground handlers are threatening to walk off the job at Sydney, Brisbane and Adelaide International Airports. There could also be a flow-on effect for some domestic flights. It comes as ATMs in Queensland could run out of cash with armoured car drivers to stop work across the next week. It follows a breakdown in their pay negotiations. Two people have been killed in an outback car race in northwestern Victoria. The driver and passenger were taking part in the Rainbow Desert Enduro event when their vehicle ran into a tree and burst into flames this morning. The Home Affairs Department has some high work to do. It's looking into the harvesting of data by the Chinese-owned TikTok and WeChat. It follows concerns that staff in China are able to get their hands on the personal details of Australian users of those social media platforms. And in case you missed it earlier, NASA's latest attempt to return to the moon has been aborted, this time due to a fuel leak. Beyond Blue is here to help you achieve your best possible mental health. For more information, advice and support, visit beyondblue.org.au today. Collingwood's Jordan Degoe has been in for scans on his shoulder after suffering a knock during the second term of yesterday's qualifying final loss to Geelong. Now, it appears that could be precautionary, though, because he did play on for the rest of the game. Collingwood has made it two from two in the AFLW with a comfortable 31-point win over the Sydney Swans. In other games, Carlton outlasting Essendon by a point, while Brisbane's been too good for the Giants. And in the NRL, Cronulla's booked a home qualifying final against North Queensland after a 38-16 win over Newcastle. Sell your home with Mill and One and Junk for a $2,000 deal. Sell your home with Mill and One and Junk for a $2,000 there's a chance of showers on the limestone coast for the rest of your Sunday. We're dropping to five tonight. It'll be cloudy tomorrow, heading for a top of 14. And our listener app is the home of radio, podcast, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand right now. <laughs>